All right, we are going to jump into a collective reading for today. So we're going to do a twin flame. Collective just means that it does not matter your sign or your person's sign. This reading may or may not resonate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to become eligible for the giveaway. Share if you would like to make it grow faster. Tarot course is down there if you guys want to check that out. It is a do it at your own pace course with me. Um, Keen, get a reading through Keen. You can get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. All right, let's jump into this. How is this twin flame viewing you? It's interesting because you and this person could be on different pages. But there's something here with it coming out sideways where they could be like, oh, well, maybe I kind of want to be on the same page. Everything unfolding in divine timing. But whatever lesson you were meant. Okay, so whenever you meet your twin flame, usually there's a lesson you both need to learn. And it's usually about yourself, um, how you approach connections, what you're getting yourself into. Maybe there's parts of you that wasn't that healthy when you met this person and it come out. But there's a lesson here that you've mastered with this person. Um, maybe at one point again, you guys didn't share the same vision. But with patience, something's unfolding. There is a sense of vulnerability here as well. Feeling the possibility, feeling the... <clears throat> what I heard was feeling the tendency to want to tell each other those things that you don't want to tell other people. So even when you guys are connected, even if it's not that much or it's rare when you guys connect, there's a sense here of being vulnerable with one another, being able to say things that maybe you wouldn't say to other people, being able to comment on things that maybe you wouldn't comment to, to other people because you don't feel a sense of judgment. Twin Flames connections can be very hard, but it's also a mutual understanding. I just heard we're both jacked up. You know, like we, we both aren't good at love. Maybe neither one of you is good at relationship. Maybe neither one of you can fully understand what this is, but you want it. It's very complicated. <laughs> How does this person view you? <clears throat> Eight of Wands. They could view you as someone taking action, someone who's maybe been communicating, going back and forth, maybe being unsure of some sort of decision. So for some of you, you communicate with this person understanding that you've learned a lesson and that you guys don't share the same vision, which here's the thing. People can change what they want, but you can't expect someone to change what they want for you. That's where that's where it gets complicated. When you expect it, it usually isn't going to happen. But I feel like there's something here where this person could view you as someone who's maybe not wanting to let this go, but you're understanding that there has been blockages and you're tired of not seeing the fruits of your labor with this person. Yeah, they view you as someone who's maybe brought some sort of ending because you want an investment. Feeling unsure if you can invest here anymore. Wanting to communicate. Wanting to be vulnerable with this person. For some of you, you're wanting a friendship. For some of you, you're just wanting this person in your life. Any way, shape, or form. But there, what is unfolding in divine timing? Use your intuition. You already, you already know. There could be some sort of leap that's going to be happening <clears throat> where somebody's going to have to have the strength to take a leap, to take a risk, to be courageous. What is that leap? What is that risk? I have a strong feeling I know what it is. To re-spark this, to have a new beginning after an ending where you both felt like things were done for good. I feel like you both really lost faith in this connection. But understanding time can heal things. Things will unfold in divine timing the way that they're meant to. This person could also view you as someone who's maybe given up. Yeah, because you're getting victory and success. You're getting recognition. You're getting justice elsewhere. Maybe there's this... Maybe there's something that you've learned. Maybe you're back in school. You're a student. Maybe there's something this person's learned about you for them to view you in this light, for them to view you as someone who's being successful, someone who's getting recognition, someone who's getting justice. It, it's interesting because this person doesn't view you as someone who's scared of a new beginning. You're the complete opposite. Complete opposite. You will go for a new beginning. But they do view you as someone who could have the possibility of getting stuck when your heart and your head are going against each other. You know, maybe your head told you 
this isn't it. You don't need to be dealing with this person. This person's not going to give you what you want. This is a lesson, not a blessing. You and this person don't have the same vision. But maybe, again, your head and your heart wasn't agreeing. And they view you as someone who's always had a hard time of letting them go, letting this go. But they also view you as someone who's letting that be a part of your past. You're not taking that into your future. How do they feel about that? How do they feel about that? <laughs> yeah, it, it makes them feel like they missed an opportunity. They missed an opportunity with someone who was going to be vulnerable, emotionally open, mature, nurturing, caring. Someone who's going to give to them equally. Someone that they feel like they disappointed. They feel like they disappointed you. They feel like when you view the past, you just kind of shake your head and go, oh God, let's not talk about that. How do they feel about you moving on? Okay, y'all see all these? We can't take all these. That's, that's way too many. How do they view you moving on? Eight of Cups on the bottom, actually walking away, going towards a new beginning, a new start. Cutting through the bullshit, cutting through the confusion, having that strength and having that courage to say, you know, I'm comfortable with you and I want this. But it's not working, so I've got to go. I'm, go I'm going to go do something differently. I've overcome this mountain. You don't have weak, you're not my weakness anymore. They view you as someone who's regained hope and faith in your future. Someone who's making their life what they want it to be. They There could be a lot that they don't know about you. Feeling like you're in a very mysterious energy. <clears throat> hmm. How do they feel towards you? How are they feeling towards you? Feeling like they can't move forward. Feeling stuck. There's lack of movement here. Feeling like they can't move forward. Feeling like they're stuck. Feeling like you're in a better place in your life than they are. Feeling very conflicted. Trying to see this from a different view, a different perspective. Having a hard time. Maybe even scared of other people's opinions. That could be their karma, though. They could be dealing with some sort of karma right now. While they see things getting better for you and you pouring into yourself and that that love getting thicker and thicker and deeper and deeper because the more you love yourself and the more you care for yourself, the more you bring in people that's going to love and care for you like that. They're getting more stuck, not moving forward, staying stagnant, staying conflicted, staying in drama, chaos, letting other people's opinions and thoughts dictate what they're wanting, not self-reflecting, <clears throat> not doing the inner work, wanting to flirt, wanting to reach out, but also staying guarded. Getting clarity on how much they miss you, but maybe wanting to hide that and keep that to their self. Why do they want to hide that and keep that to their self? They don't want to communicate. They might not want to move something forward. Why do they want to hide that and keep that to their self? Planning for the future, waiting for their ships to come in. Knowing it's time for them to choose a direction. Why are they keeping that to their self? They're feeling a little imbalanced when it comes to this collaboration. They also feel that maybe they left you out or didn't give you what you wanted. There's an energy here where they feel that you could be so imbalanced to this connection because at one point they didn't give you what you needed, what you wanted. They feel like they can't come in and tell you all of these things because they, they're they scared of how you're going to react. It's interesting because I feel like some of you could be dealing with someone that if the shoes were on the other foot, they would be not such a great person to deal with. And they're scared that that's what you're going to do. If they come in and go, okay, I changed my mind. I see that you've moved on. I see that you're having fun. I see that you've had a hard time leaving me behind. But now that you've left me behind, I feel like I've missed my opportunity. So I want to take this opportunity to see where this can go. I'm unsure if I can move forward, though, because I've seen to have a hard time moving forward. I've not been doing any self-reflection because let's not do that. This person's not asking their self the question of why is there chaos in my environment? Why is it anywhere I go or any anything I put myself in turns into pure chaos and just torture? It's because of something inside of them. But they've not asked their self that question. What they're asking their self right now is Pisces invested with me and I want to invest with them. I miss that fun. I miss that passion. I miss that spark. 
But I'm also scared that Pisces is going to say, oh, you want my cup and throw it. Why do I keep saying Pisces? Because I do Pisces only readings. They're scared the collective's going to say, oh, you want my cup? Middle finger up, tell them boy bye. This could be a Virgo. This could be a Cancer. Could be a Pisces. Could be an Aries. Why? How do they think you're going to react? Head over heart decision. Maybe not wanting to see something. They're scared that you might not take this. <coughs> They're scared that you've healed so much past this since this ending <coughs> that you wouldn't give this another, another turn of the eye. Wanting to flirt, wanting to feel the way that they felt with you, but scared that you want something new and scared that you don't see them as that new potential. They're also scared that you could see them as something that's maybe karmic, toxic, something that isn't fulfilling, something that has a negative aspect to it. It's kind of like this person is scared that they've ruined the way that you once felt for them and that they can never change it again. How do they think Pisces, God damn it, how do they think the collective is going to react turn your back on some sort of second chance. I feel that they feel <clears throat> like they've missed this opportunity and there's no way to turn it back. Ever. That's how this person is feeling. <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. Still feeling that passion. So what's their intentions with you? Page of Swords, to be honest, to be truthful. They could also be spying, wanting to flirt. Wanting to also balance that communication. There's something here about wanting to be emotionally vulnerable, but going back and forth on that. Because here's the thing. If they're emotionally vulnerable with you, if they ever have this conversation with you, and you don't take them up on that offer, they're going to be like, oh, you knew you shouldn't have did that. You knew you shouldn't have said that. You knew you shouldn't have opened up in that way. They're going to like bully themselves. So it's very interesting. Um, what was I asking? What's their intentions when they come towards you? Five of Cups. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. A lot of Cups. What's their wanting to heal something that could have been confusing, something that could have been sad and disappointed, wanting to come back in for a second chance? Again, they're scared you're going to feel like there is no second chance, that this is just a karmic, that this is just something that has toxicity and we can't get over it. Seven of Pentacles, wanting to invest with you, wanting to put in the work, wanting this to be victorious now, wanting it to be successful. I feel like this person's, rec how do they view you? I feel like they're recognizing you for the strong individual that you are. <clears throat> yeah, they view you as someone that they should have took their opportunity. They should have took their cup. <clears throat> they're scared that you could get discontent with them. That their offer might not be enough. Because they are showing up as a lot of pages. It's maybe still going through something that's not completely finished. Something that still makes them sad and disappointed. There could be something here as well where they're not at a place where they can be completely vulnerable with you. And that makes them disappointed. Because they know that you're going to want that and expect that. That could be that immaturity. That could be all those pages. Them having to grow up and learn that experience with you and with this relationship. Now, if that's your story, you have to ask yourself, are you willing to go through that experience with this person? Do you want an equal connection? Or do you want a connection where you feel like you're helping someone, you're helping teach them and make them better? Some people that works, some people it doesn't. But I do get a sense of a little bit of immaturity. But it's meant for this person to come back around because the energy has shifted. Again, you're not yearning for them, you're not longing for them, you're not wanting them. It's now them wanting that. But them also scared, how do you view me? Do you view me as that person that you had a toxic connection with and you cut me loose and never again? Do you view me as someone that you have so much passion for you can't seem to explain it and let go of it? How do you view me? How do they think you view them? As the Ten of Wands, it's something that burdens them, something that stresses them out. The kind of connection where you have to carry everything on your shoulder. They, they think you view them as a pain in the ass. <clears throat> yeah, but they want you to know that they can give to you equally. They just have to choose that path. 
So that's interesting because they even view you as someone who knows that they can give into this the way that you want them to. It's whether or not they're going to do it. So if they try to pull the wool over your eyes, they know good and die blame well now. You ain't stupid. You weren't born yesterday. Wanting to communicate. So they could actually be wanting to tell you, you know, the reason I haven't opened up to you to emotionally is because of this, this, and this. I know you see it as a burden and me being a pain in the butt, but I wanted to make sure before I opened up to you that I wouldn't regret this because I don't want to hear, you know, I hate you. I can't stand you. I hope you stub your toe on the way out. That would hurt me. That would make me then feel, why did you open up and why were you vulnerable? Maybe there's something here where every single time this person has opened up emotionally and been vulnerable with somebody, it's never worked out. So they don't understand the benefits behind that. You know, if we have an experience and every single time, you, if it's being vulnerable or opening up, every single time we do that, there comes a negative part from it or a negative outcome, it can make you not ever want to do that again. Give me more for the collective twin flame reading. Every song I hear reminds me of you. You are always in my dreams. So dreaming of you, being reminded of you. I'm hearing that song, you are always on my mind. You are always on my mind. I should have listened to my intuition. I'm scared you will not accept me. That literally sums this up. I'm scared you now will not accept me and understand why I was so scared. Understand why it was so hard for me to not open up. My heart was blocked. I was not able to receive the love that you gave when you gave it. <clears throat> if I could turn back time, I would do it all differently. If I could turn back time. If I can find a way. You made me see a side of me that I've grown to hate. That... Is that part? Where did that go? The I, I'm scared you're not going to accept me now. Because, you know, maybe this person didn't understand how emotionally immature and unable they were to open up and let someone in. How they never felt safe with someone. And if you've never been in that kind of life where you don't feel safe with no one, you wouldn't understand. But you do have to have empathy and you, you have to understand where this person's coming from. Deliver me from temptation. I look at your pictures for hours on end. You're still so beautiful to me. This person's been wanting you to allow them to work on their self. And I feel like that's where you guys have been. Again, you working on yourself, them working on their self. You guys are getting to a point where I feel like you're starting to share the same vision. Maybe not everything, but I want you, you want me. Let's make this we. Every thought is you. You occupy my mind. I cannot escape you even when I try. <laughs> it's so funny because it's the energy of like, okay, I'm not going to think about Jason all day. And then you go to work. And somebody comes in to interview, and guess what their name is? Jason. Like, that's the kind of thing. That, that's what's happening here. What do we have? Give me just a few of what this person wants to say to you. I feel the sexual tension. I'm becoming a better person. I find you so attractive. Yes, you do. I feel like you were the best thing in my life. I regret lying to you. You didn't see my tears. So this person was brokenhearted when you guys separated. But also understanding how maybe unavailable they were. You know, maybe there's a lot of conversations that were had where this person wasn't able to see things until now. That takes time. That takes your growth. That takes experiences. There are conversations I had three years ago that if I had them today, I would completely approach them in a completely different way. So, I feel like that's where this person's at. But also understanding that you didn't see the hardships that this person went through by losing you. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're like, whatever. They, they didn't lose me. They didn't care. They didn't miss me. <clears throat> How do you know that? How do you know that? Are you just saying that because it's a defense mechanism and you didn't feel chose by this person? So, you needed to just scratch it off and say, whatever. I wasn't chose. I didn't like you anyways. Is it because you truly know the truth? Do you have a camera in their house? Do you hear all these conversations? And don't put down below, well, they told me. I can sit here all day and tell you I'm the color purple, but that does not mean it's true. I'm just saying. All right, my loves, we're going to leave that here for today. Have a blessed day.